What's up guys, Thick of Mist GN back after a long ass time to talk about some Mortal Kombat. And I do apologize to all my subscribers, guys like Madota, like Arena, like DJ Johnson, all you guys who have been tuning in for my videos for quite a while now just to watch some Mortal Kombat stuff and I haven't been giving you the content that you want and that you deserve. So, I am back with this, back with Tales of Mortal Kombat, and I'll be back with bringing you at least one or two Mortal Kombat videos a week, hoping that very soon they will be starting to announce or at least talk about Mortal Kombat 11 in the very, very near future. So, without further ado, let's get into Tales of Mortal Kombat for Mortal Kombat Armageddon. And as always, I'm going to be starting off with the presentation, and as I've mentioned in every single other video that I've done regarding the 3D era, the presentation of Mortal Kombat Armageddon was very, very solid. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about the menus, which were also very good, but I'm talking about the the intro and the intro in Mortal Kombat Armageddon might actually be the best one of the bunch because you see all the characters and you really see this crazy giant battle that's going on literally at the at the um, at the Pyramid of Argus where it's just it's going insane. There's so many there's so many people there. It's like literally the entire roster and they're doing some actually pretty nice fight scenes as well. You know, a lot of times you see these kind of just kind of poorly choreographed scenes. But in this one, it was actually really, really good. There are a few moments there that are kind of iffy for me. For example, there's the, there's the part where I think it's Kung Lao and Baraka that are fighting in the air, which all of a sudden they can fly, and that's just kind of iffy for me. However, the rest of it is all very, very good, very interesting. I like the fact that, you know, they have so many different characters, like I said, but they're also all characteristic of how they actually are. They're not just punching and throwing kicks. They're actually using their special moves. And it's just very, very interesting to also see how they, the way it ends with Liu Kang pulling Shang Tsung back and Shang Tsung seemingly turning old and, like, losing his souls and stuff like that. So it's just a very, very awesome scene. And is arguably the very best intro in a Mortal Kombat game of all time. When it comes to the graphics, you know, the gra it's just typical 3D era graphics. You know, it's not any worse than, say, Mortal Kombat Deception, but I don't really think it's any better. I don't think so, anyway. Like, just looking at it, it doesn't really look like anything really changed. Of course, they do have some interesting arenas, but for the most part, essentially what it is is Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance and Mortal Kombat Deception mixed together into one single game and mixed in with a few other original arenas they made just for Mortal Kombat Armageddon because of course they had the Temple of Argus they had Blaze's stuff they did have a few new things I think they had Sector's um Sector's spaceship as well so they did have a few things in there a few arenas and a few nice little things that were very specific to Mortal Kombat Armageddon and overall you know the game it doesn't look great but it also doesn't look that bad like if you consider what you were really looking at in terms of fighting games back then I don't think it's specifically too bad it's definitely nothing special but overall like I like the fact that they pretty much took the best costumes from Mortal Kombat Deception and the best costumes from Mortal Kombat Arm um, Deadly Alliance and they mixed them in there and they just put them in to Mortal Kombat Armageddon when it comes to the roster you can't really complain of course there are balancing issues i'm going to talk about that a little bit later on but if you look at the sheer amount of characters there they're literally like i said pretty much every single mortal kombat character has ever been in a main mortal kombat game alongside characters like serena who never made it into a main game so they do have a, you know a chameleon a chameleon with a k as well they have a bunch of different characters that we've never really been able to see in an actual mortal kombat game so the fact that they have all these characters in there there were of course going to be some balancing issues but if you look at it for what it is because mortal kombat armageddon was essentially supposed to be the last mk game because there was no budget midway was going under and it looked like they were probably going to never be able to do another mk game so they made this one big swan song to try to go out in a big way not really focusing too much on balancing or competitive play just trying to have every single character and trying to make it as cool as possible for all the real Mortal Kombat fans. And I think that they achieved that in some ways. Of course, in other ways they didn't. However, in terms of just pure roster, you can't complain about this. I actually do like the menus as well. As I was mentioning before, the intro of the game was the best part about it when it comes to presentation. But the menus were actually also pretty nice because they had basically rivals with each other. For example, you have screens with Scorpion and Sub-Zero there. You have... Uh, I think it's Sector and Cyrax as well. So you you have kind of this nice, nice little mix of characters in the menus and just overall looks very, very good. I also like the fact that there were so many options, which I'm going to talk about more when it comes to the gameplay part of things. But just overall, I think the presentation of the game was actually pretty solid. And unlike a lot of the other previous games from like Mortal Kombat 4 on, I would say this probably had one of the better soundtracks. Moving on to the gameplay, and I do have to say, this was pretty much just typical MK 3D era gameplay. And of course, that's good and that is bad because they didn't really 
go backwards in terms of quality, but unfortunately didn't really go forward, especially because, as I mentioned, there were so many characters, they really couldn't just develop each specific character to be as polished as possible. So they pretty much just had their versions from Mortal Kombat Deception, their, ver their versions from Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, they made them fit for the way that the MK, uh, MK Armageddon was going to play, they just kind of put them in there, and they just gave them their special moves and kind of just left them like that. And the biggest issue, of course, with the game, realistically, is the fact that Creative Fatality was there, and the idea behind the name Creative Fatality is actually pretty interesting because you think to yourself, I can actually create my own cinematic where I decide what's going to happen, what parts going to be dismembered, what's exactly is going to happen to the human body. Unfortunately, that's not really the way it works. Of course, everybody knows that it was a pretty poor system and it's generally regarded as the worst fatality system that they have been in, in there. Nobody really actually considers them, them to be fatalities, really, because, you they, I mean, yes, they, you do kill somebody, but it's not that classic Mortal Kombat fatality, so nobody really likes that stuff. At least, they're not, the vast majority of people do think that it's kind of garbage. So, I do hope they never bring that back, but essentially, for what it was, I guess I can understand what they were trying to go for because there were so many characters in there, so it was going be kind of difficult for them to program so many fatalities because of the fact that of course the games were also on ps2 and xbox uh on the original xbox console so it's not like they had a lot of memory to work with on their on their on their discs so they could only go with a little bit of you know, a very small amount of space so they had to fill it up with you know whatever they could and try to save as much as they could as well so i understand why they had the creative fatality system in there but it hopefully will never come back because it was kind of garbage when it comes to the modes as i mentioned before there were a lot of different modes in here my favorite of the game personally was of course motor combat and i've mentioned this in quite a few of my previous videos and for the most part people always kind of say that i'm kind of stupid for liking motor combat and of course I understand why, because it wasn't very well developed, it wasn't very deep, and it was just kind of put in there just to be funny and try to, be, try to just kind of be a joke. But that's exactly what I like about it, because I've, I've always mentioned this in pretty much every single one of my Mortal Kombat videos, is that the biggest thing for me in a fighting game is variety. Because I'm not very good at the games, so when I go online, if I'm going against guys that are, you know, low level or they're more or less my level, then I stand a chance. And I will have a good time and I will probably win quite a few matches. But when I go and play against guys that are really good or even just pretty good, I tend to get my ass beat. So for the most part, I either play with friends or I play on single player. And when you play on single player or with friends, you kind of have to have something that's going to really mix it up. So which is one of the reasons that I appreciate Mortal Kombat Armageddon is because, of course, they did have motor combat. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed that. And of course, they did have the Conquest mode as well. Conquest mode, unfortunately, in this game wasn't anywhere near as good as it was in Deception because they went away from having a more open world type of feel to having it be very, very linear. And it was pretty much just follow this path and beat a bunch of people up. So it, in certain ways... It wasn't bad because it was it did go from an open world where every time you had to fight somebody, it would go back to an actual fight into being a beat -em up in a very linear environment, which, like I said, it's not that bad a thing if you weren't already used to how good Deceptions was because Armageddon's kind of felt like it was just kind of pieced together awkwardly. It didn't really flow perfectly. It didn't really flow that great. But overall, it was a pretty fun experience, and apart from, you know, the arcade mode, then it was definitely a good way to experience the story, experience the game, and really be able to enjoy yourself in a way that you, you wouldn't otherwise be able to, and really experience the story the way that it was probably meant to be. So I do appreciate the mode. It wasn't the best, but it definitely wasn't the worst as well. And when it comes to Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Crypt, I was kind of a fan of it, but I was also against it and for other reasons. For example, a lot of the content that was in there just kind of felt like it was kind of put there just to fill it up. Like, there wasn't a whole lot of substantial content there. It was just kind of, you know, like, fill them up. You know, like, a lot of times when you buy, like, a loot crate or something like that, they have one item that's cool, and the rest of it is garbage. And that's just kind of how it felt a little bit in the Mortal Kombat Armageddon crypt because there was so much to unlock but really a whole lot of it was kind of just there however they did actually have some interesting things for example the character bios that they, they started in mortal kombat deception they carried over to mortal kombat armageddon so going into my final thoughts about mortal kombat armageddon i have to be honest with you guys like it was definitely one of my least favorite games in the series i can't remember exactly how i ranked it because right now i'm I, I i did it a few a little while ago and a lot of times for me these rankings they kind of flow and move around as time goes on but if not i definitely think that mortal kombat 4 was definitely my, my least favorite uh definitely you know well no mortal kombat versus dc was my least favorite i think i had mortal kombat armageddon at number eight just above mortal kombat 4 so it's definitely one of my least favorite games in the series but if you look at what it did what it brought to the table in a single game you know, they had all the characters there. So anytime a friend comes over, or at least they used to, because now, of course, we have much better Mortal Kombat games, but back when that game was out, 
whenever a friend came over and what she wanted to do was just try out every single Mortal Kombat character and you were kind of sick of playing Mortal Kombat Deception with a limited roster, which even though it did have a, a, a fun, nice amount of characters, it was still limited, of course, as a regular game that tried to actually balance the characters out is going to be. Well, Armageddon literally had every single character, so you could literally try out just about every single character in Mortal Kombat history, and it was a very, very fun thing to do. Of course, the balancing was garbage, so you would end up having a far overpowered character taking on a guy who was underpowered, so that was an issue. But if you can get past that and you just look at the game to have fun, then it definitely wasn't a bad game. So, of course, it's nowhere near my favorite Mortal Kombat game, but it definitely has its spot, and it has its reason. To be in existence so every once in a while if my playstation 2 wasn't broken i would definitely be putting in mortal kombat armageddon just to play chameleon just to play chameleon with a k just to be playing some of those crazy characters that you haven't really been able to play in the other mortal kombat games so guys that is it for this video i want you to let me know in the comment section down below what you think of mortal kombat armageddon and what do you think of all the things that i talked about in this video if you enjoyed it please smash the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and share this video i am very thankful to anybody who does that and of course as always big shout out to every single one of my subscribers i apologize once again for not putting out any mk videos for quite a while now but i am back 100 percent and guys let me know in the comment section down below what topics you would like me to be covering for mortal kombat and also are there any specific types of formats of videos that you want to see me be covering let me know all these things in the comment section down below all right guys that is it as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video